Hello everyone, my name is Catalyst, and welcome to the How to Not Suck series, the grammatically incorrect series that teaches you how to play Battlefield. As you may know, we are going through every single specialist in the game before going on to some more in-depth videos, going through each one, learning how to most optimally play them, and learn their quirks and tricks before suggesting loadouts for them. The previous episode was on Dozer, so if you have not seen that video or are interested in watching it, you can click the card in the top right-hand corner of your screen if you're on desktop, or you can click the thumbnail at the end screen of this video. This video is going to be covering McKay, the grapple-hooking specialist that cosplays as Woody from Toy Story on his weekend. I rate McKay as one of the best specialists, if not the best specialist in the game depending on your playstyle because he has nearly unrivaled mobility in a game that you cross open space quite frequently. You also have nearly endless opportunities to gain vertical advantage on your opponents which is incredibly strong in Battlefield 2042. In today's video we would go over his grapple hook, some quirks that come with it, when the best places to use it are, and how to best utilize him on the battlefield. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get to work. McKay was my favorite specialist all the way back in the beta of Battlefield 2042, and he has continued to be one of my favorite specialists now that the game has fully released. Normally, this is the section of the video where I kind of explain my feelings on the specialist and give you a precursor for some of the things that we're going to be talking about today, but today, really, I have nothing but praises for McKay. He is one of the very few specialists in the game that I would say offers a lot of variety in its playstyle and what gadgets he can use, and I think that's one of the reasons why he is a very popular choice. You can use him as a flanking lone wolf specialist, you can use him as a tank hunter, you can use him as a squad leader, you can use him as a sniping specialist getting up into high places with his grapple hook. Now I don't really suggest the latter unless you're going for his tier 1 skin, but nonetheless, McKay is a very well designed specialist in the way that he can be utilized in multiple fashions when using his grapple hook. Which speaking of, McKay's main ability is his grapple gun which allows him to shoot out a grapple hook and pull himself towards the object it is attached to. The grapple hook has a 10 second cooldown after a successful grapple, and a 3 second reload time if you miss your grapple. You are also able to release your hook early while grappling by pressing your jump button, and you can also move yourself a little bit horizontally while grappling as well. Now there are actually quite a few quirks and important things to know about how McKay's grapple hook works that you can abuse and work into your gameplay. Some of these are considered to be bugs, or well, may maybe it would be more reasonable to call them unintended uses of a grapple hook. Again, DICE may patch these things moving forward, but with that said, let's start with smoke grappling. Yes, you heard that right, smoke grappling. So the way that McKay's grapple hook works is that it allows him to latch onto any solid object in the game, whether that be a wall or a tank or a roof or the ground, but for whatever reason, Battlefield 2042 treats smoke as a solid object, and as such, you can actually grapple to the cloud of smoke as McKay, and you'll see me do this a lot in the gameplay. I'll try and get a specific example to show you here. I do this quite frequently, and is the primary reason why I will suggest running smoke grenades on McKay today. It not only allows you to cross open spaces quickly, but it also gives you the advantage of extra cover due to the smoke. As for how this is possible, well, I'm not a game developer, but if I had to guess, I would say this has something to do with how the smoke is rendered, which I would assume that there is a hitbox worked into the actual cloud of smoke that allows McKay to grapple to it and through it. So if you need to cross open spaces, or make up some ground, or just need to make a quick escape and have nothing to grapple to, throw a smoke grenade and grapple to it. Some other quirks with McKay's grapple to note, you can damage people with the grapple hook, although I would not suggest doing this intentionally, it's not going to get you any kills unless that player is extremely low on health. When you grapple to a moving vehicle, you don't actually latch onto the vehicle, you latch onto the spot that the vehicle was in, or where your grapple hook hits the vehicle, so no, unfortunately, you can't grapple hook a moving bolt and ride behind it like you're wakeboarding. Uh, there is a way that you can cheese the grapple hook, but only in specific situations. So the way that the cooldown on the grapple hook works is that it is judged by distance. The game only recognizes that you have performed a successful grapple after traveling a certain distance. So there are certain objects that you can get up on that you wouldn't normally be able to jump to without setting your grapple hook on cooldown. As far as I know, the main example of this is crates like the one you'll find on No Shark Canals and Manifest. But since this is a distance based kind of cheese mechanic, there are other spots that you can do this too. 
There is also some advanced movement that you can do with McKay and his grapple hook. I've already briefly mentioned, but you can detach yourself from the grapple hook early by pressing your jump button. And if you time this correctly on a vertical ascension with the grapple hook, you can fling yourself in midair and bypass the vaulting animation you get when grappling up to a tall building. So if you know that somebody is up high and you're trying to grapple to them, but you don't want to risk running into them while you're in the middle of an animation, that is something that you can do to try and bypass that. Additionally, you can use McKay's grapple hook to get momentum and bunny hop a decent distance, but in order to get the most distance, you'll have to swing off something like Tarzan to get the most momentum possible and time your jumps correctly. McKay's passive trait is the nimble trait, which gives him faster ADS strafe speed and allows him to move faster on zip lines. This for me is where McCain becomes really strong and close to overpowered because you can grapple places and learn all these quirky mechanics with McKay, but just plain making him faster than any other character in a gunfight not only elevates McKay even further, but makes all nine other specialists currently in the game feel like they have their feet stuck in the mud. I do think that bugged mouse input and bugged aim assist on controller is also assisting in how strong McKay is with this because if you're bad at tracking to begin with you'll struggle against McKay but with bad input bugs you can become even more hampered by it and if you were wondering how large the difference is between McKay's strafe speed and the standard strafe speed for the other specialists it's actually quite significant as we covered in my movement guide I'm not sure when DICE is going to take a look at rebalancing specialists but I would love to see a rework of McKay's nibble trait where his strafe speed is applied to all the other specialists and he keeps his other movement benefits such as zip lining faster and maybe adding some other things like climbing ladders faster or even parachuting downwards faster. With all that being said, what is the best way to use McKay? Well, McKay, unsurprisingly, is your objective rusher. He is really best at getting in and around objectives quickly and wiping enemies off the point before grappling away. I would almost liken him to a hit and run specialist, and those who really excel at McKay are those who are going to use his grapple hook most effectively and use it frequently. Compared to a lot of other abilities in the game, the grapple hook does not have a long cooldown, so over time, you can really get an internal clock and get the timing and flow down of using McKay and you'll start to notice more ways that you can use him. Really try and be creative with him. You know, whenever you can take verticality on an objective, do so unless there's helicopters around because then McKay becomes a pretty obvious target. Even if you need to descend quickly, the grapple hook is good for that as well. If you are parachuting and need to get to the ground quicker or are being run off a roof by a little bird and need to get down, jumping off roofs and then grapple hooking yourself to ground is also a a really good use of the grapple hook. But again, you'll really start to excel as McKay when you get a mental internal clock in your head for his cooldown timer, because what I will do is I will grapple myself to a point in an advantageous position, get a couple of kills, and then grapple away to either heal up or get spawns off for my teammates, whether that be downwards or upwards or sideways, whichever way I need to go to reach safety. I also think that despite being a real lone wolf specialist, that McKay makes a pretty good squad squad leader if you want a more team friendly way to play McKay. I think running him with an insertion beacon is a great idea. You can grapple up to some really strong places and place that spawn beacon down and your squad will get excellent spawns as long as you continue to replace them when you spawn on your own spawn beacon. And you do need to keep in mind that you do have to reset the spawn beacon every time you spawn on it. Your teammates can spawn on it as much as they want but as soon as you spawn it, that's when it goes away. As for the best loadout on McKay, I think his best loadouts are either as a tank hunter or a quick strike objective oriented specialist like we've discussed. I lean more towards him being that objective rushing specialist because of how his grapple hook works with vehicles. Remember that he only grapples to the location of the vehicle, not the vehicle itself. So if the vehicle is moving, it can become hard to go for the old grapple hook C5 play. Also because vehicles can back up and road kill you if you try and get them from behind. So I don't think it's the safest option to play McKay, so I would suggest running him as an aggressive PTFO specialist, running him with an SMG of your choosing or an LMG. You can get a lot of spray and prey kills with McKay from a vertical flank spot with a large mag LMG and a suppressor. Smoke grenades are a must run on McKay for reasons we have already discussed, and for gadgets I would suggest running a med pen or spawn beacon, the med pen for self sustain, and the spawn beacon for you if you want to continue to stay in an area and attack a flank or be more of a squad leader role.
As always, I suggest other compatible specialists to run along with this specialist if you are in a squad. For McKay, he is compatible with a lot of the specialists on the roster, but if I had to choose just a couple, I suggest Sundance, Falk, and Rao. Sundance obviously has some of the best mobility in the game, so it would make sense to pair them with another great mobility specialist. You can get up to high areas with McKay's grapple hook and have the Sundance spawn on you so they have a high jumping off point for her wingsuit. I also suggest Falk as she can shoot her Sorette Pistol and heal McKay when he is in tough to get to places. And lastly, I suggest Rao if you are going for the more tank hunter type role with McKay. His hacking abilities make it a little easier and safer for McKay to grapple to tanks and other armored vehicles. As for where I would rank McKay, well, I've been singing his praises all episodes, so you know he is going to be ranked extremely high. I would rank him as the best specialist in Conquest and the second best specialist in Breakthrough. McKay's grapple hook just provides him with nearly unrivaled rivaled mobility and traversal options on the battlefield. You can get almost anywhere with McKay, and you can escape almost anywhere with McKay. Not to mention that his nimble trait makes him a very hard specialist to beat in a 1v1 gunfight, especially if the player using him is a skilled one. I think he is slightly worse in Breakthrough because of how many players are on an objective at one time, and it makes it a little bit more difficult for him to be surgical on objectives, but he still can work some vertical angles and flank angles that nobody else can get to which is why he is still ranked so highly. That's the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you found this video useful and enjoyed your time here. I'm sorry for the long turnaround on this one. I've been enjoying playing other video games this past weekend, taking some time to recharge my 2042 batteries, if you understand me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video that much, drop a like and leave a comment. If you made it to the end of the video, it helps me tremendously in the algorithm. And if you enjoyed it even more than that, you should consider subscribing as I will be making tons of 2042 content and guides like this one moving forward. I try to stream for nights a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday on my Twitch at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's been great seeing you guys stop by whenever I do make a stream. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Catalyst, and I will see you all another time.